All right, I'm going to be using this little uh, pattern over here. It's a black and white alpha image um, to cut a hole through the mesh. Um, like I said, this is black and white. The black will make it transparent. It needs to be pure black. That means the color will be um, 0, 0, 0 on the RGB color for the red, green, and blue. Um, it can't be a little bit off. Um, it's recommended that you have strictly pure black on this so we can pick up the transparency. So we're going to open up a light box here and move along here and go to tools and we're going to be using the demo head here. Alright, I'm going to be moving around just a little bit quick, not too quick. I'll make it too boring. Let's get a little different material here and F on the keyboard frame this up. And we're going to need uh, some UVs for this. Um, it has no UVs so we need to go to the geometry and set it to the lowest. I'm going to go into the plugin here and we're going to go down to the UV master. Instead of docking over the side, I'm just going to press unwrap. And that's going to pretty much give me some uh, quick UV so I don't have to jack around here. So I'm going to crick this up a little bit here. Then I'm going to divide this. I'm not going to go too high because it's going to jam up my screen recorder and everything's going to be slow. And let's go ahead and bring this over here. Smooth the material. And I'll bring that over here. And we're going to select that alpha. And I want to go ahead and go to modify. Set the tile to, let's say, 3. And this one over here, 3. And plus enter. Alright. Then we're going to come over here and we're going to go to the masking. And we got this option in here called Mask by Alpha. Uh, if we didn't have no UVs, um, this button will be grayed out. So we're going to mask this by the Alpha. And we're going to get something like this. Now I'm going to go ahead and inverse this here. You can use hotkeys to do this. And I want to keep part of this mesh. All right. All right. So what I'm going to do is going to mask uh, in the eye sockets here a little bit, down the nose, and maybe a little bit around the mouth. Then when I get done with that, we'll close all this up, and then we're going to come down to visibility, and we're going to press hide point. All right, then we got something like this. All right, so we turn on the floor here, so we can kind of see here. Now everything's just a little bit chuggy here, and we don't have any thickness to this. So what I'm going to do is, as you can see right here, we got the uh, current tool right here. It's a demo head um, underscore one. We're going to make this a polymesh 3D. And when we did this, you can see uh, at the end there it says PM3D. So make sure you've got this tool selected. Next step is we're going to go down here to the Morph Target. Store the Morph Target. You go to Deformation here. And we want to inflate this. I'm going to inflate this to, let's say, 4 and take a look at this. And press Enter. Uh, it seems to work better when you type it in because when you get a lot of uh, geometry and movie sliders, it gets real sluggish. All right, once we get that done, then we can go ahead and create diff. And if you look up here, you can wait till it's finished creating the morph diff difference here. And we'll give it a second. All right, it's finished. Um, we do need to go select that tool. And if we look up here, you'll see the one that says morph diff. And then you can see we got some a little bit of thickness to it. Uh, there's all kinds of things that you can do to this. Uh, if we go to the uh, deformation here, we got the polish or whatever we want to do. If we want to smooth this up just a tad or something like that. And we can smooth it up just a little bit. That's if you want to. I'm going to control Z that and leave that alone. And let's do a quick render here and see what it looks like. Then you get something like that, which it looks pretty cool. And we'll take a look at all the way around here, just in case anybody wanted to see the back half. And we'll do another render here. And that's what the back half looks like. And I'm about ready to finish it up. And we'll take another look around here. And I'm just going to snap it in this front view here. I had paused the video and I just figured I'd do a couple more things, but yeah, I made this one. I inflated it a, bit, a little bit more. 
that gave it more thickness and if we turn on the poly frames as you can see we got uh, uh, the poly groups and if we control click I've been messing with this earlier and what I did was uh, actually this one here this is actually I used a material uh, toy plastic on this one here then I went to the, the color the fill object and I inverted it this is actually the foil here the silver foil bright and color and fill object on that one and I'll bring all this back and you can see where we get this uh, it's gonna be a little bit hard to see in the video but yeah we got a little bit of thickness here let me turn on the five frames here and you can see right down here at the bottom maybe you can and maybe you can't but uh, we'll do one more final render here this and we get something like that and we're finished